Anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to expand on this circuit and show you how these devices, the blues are driven and the reds are driven and what it takes to drive them so that you can get the same thing that I have here so that this can be duplicated. So, what we want to do is we want to be able to switch this device without the cumbersome transformer that we used in the very first one because now they're, they're pretty hard to get and as I said, this side was 1K. They still have another eight. Okay, and this side's 8 ohms. That's fine. But we don't want to use that if we don't have to use it. All right, so what we want to do is we want to switch this optically. So your first optocoupler would be here, and the diode would be here in the optocoupler. We want to clarify this part, this optocoupler up here, and I'm going to do that as I, I drew the part here. It's a six-pin IC device, pin one, and this is the direction of the diode. So the input signal is going to come in through pin 1 and exit through pin 2. Pin 5 is the collector right here of this transistor. This is 5, this is 4, this is 1, and this is 2. All right. So we're going to switch these with optocouplers. You can see this in a second here when I put them in. So there's an opto there and an opto there. And then we need an opto here. And we need an opto here. And we need an opto here. And we need an opto here. So we don't care about these bases because they're going to be switched with the diode. Okay, what we have is these now are all driven independently and they're isolated from the oscillator by an opto. This is five. So we'll clarify this H11D1 again. Pin one, pin two, pin five and four are used. Pin five being the collector, Pin 4 being the emitter, 1 and 2 being the diode. Okay, so what we want to do is, according to Ronald Brent, if we go back,
to his diagram. This is what he wanted to do. He called, if you can get at this, he called it S1, S3, S6, S5, S4. And he said, specifically in his writing, fire together, S1, so this one being S1. And then he said, fire S3, which this is going to be S3. And then he said, fire S5, which this is going to be S5. And that would take care of the blue side, which would be this side right here. And then he said, S2, fire S2, which this is going to be S2, and this is going to be S4, and then on the opposite side, he said, we're going to fire S5. Okay, so what's the arrangement when we fire this for the optocouplers? I want to get this shot. I want to get this whole circuit. And I want them to be able to get this whole circuit. Because I'm going to need to erase the board to show you how these are going to fire. Okay, so what I've drawn on the board right now is the sequence that Ron, Ronald Brent wanted. So once again, S1, this is the optocoupler on S1 that's going to drive the very first transistor at the top. And according to the other diagram that we posted up earlier. And then he wanted S3 to fire. So see here the diodes are all put in series. So if we come in here with numbers for the optocoupler, this would be 5, this would be 4, this would be 2, and this would be 1. So here's the sequence. Okay, so there's your numbers. That's exactly the numbering system on the optocoupler that we're going to use. The H, H11 same time and he wanted S6 to fire at the same time and then this side goes off and this side turns on and he wants S2, S4 and S5 to fire so when you're looking at the optocoupler it's usually drawn like this And the pins would be 
in the box. It's a little indentation. This is going to be pin one with a dot. So that's one. That's going to be two. This is going to be five. Six is not used. And four. And that is what these devices are right here. And the octocouplers. That are driving these devices. So they're going on in this exact sequence. And if we call this sequence one, One would be if you were looking at a, a wave. Like this. We could call this the on on this sequence and the on on this sequence. But since the SG3524 doesn't work that way, it just steps over. And I think they draw it. And we'll just call this, it would make it really easy if you just call this side zero degrees. And then this is going to go off and it's going to step over to the next side. It's going to flip the other direction 